if you have an already existing database and you are using database first model to manage your project and you want to import it to ASNET Core 3 and use code first style this video can help you I want to show you how you can reverse engineer an already existing database to code first style let's start by creating a new application it doesn't matter what's the name and I want to pick web applications for this solution and pick model view controller for this project I want to use SQLite I have a sample database that is uh, can download it from internet the database name is Chinook and let's add it to my project here of course you can use SQL Server or MySQL or anything that AEF Core supports but for the sake of this project I want to use a simple database that, is, that has been built by SQLite I can use SQLite Studio to see what is inside the database and you can see there are lots of tables with relationships and uh, some data so next step is to add some packages uh, to our project and then we can scaffold database to C sharp classes and DB context let's edit our CS branch file and here I am going to add some packages let's save it and here you can see that I have four packages there is an SQLite package which obviously we need if you want to use SQLite this is SQLite provider and this helps us to design our database by using code first later we, when we want to add columns or tables to our database also you need entity framework base design package uh, which comes with SQLite design the last uh, but not least is this package this package helps you to run migrations and change the database also to run a scaffold DB context uh, which we are going to use later now that we have all the necessary package installed uh, let's run the command here to do that I have uh, created also already a command and pasted here this is the command that I'm going to be using a scaffold DB context next you have to specify the connection string in this case the connection string to SQLite is this one if you have a SQL server it doesn't matter you can paste your whole connection string here and use a scaffold db context next we need to specify the provider which is SQLite in this case you can use dash context dir to optionally pick where you want to put generated files for db context also output directory helps you to pick where you want your models to be generated and with this dash context i can pick the name of my db context and now let's run this command and see what happens it takes a couple of seconds and then you can see all the generated files inside your projects okay uh, it's done now and as you can see there's a data folder here and our data context showed up here also we have all models in another separated uh, folder mm, the only problem is to mm, add namespace for models let's save the project and now you can start using the, this database but before that you have to add services to use db context let's do that and add services for our db context here i want to paste the command which is using chinook db context and this is connection string using sqlite needs us to add another namespace and we are done and now i can show some data inside the users page and 
and I do that by injecting database here private read only I don't want to show any views just okay and let's do db albums let's run the project and see if it's working debug start without debugging so our database records is showing up here and it seems like everything is working just fine and you now see how you can add or reverse engineer an already existing database and use code first thank you for watching please like and subscribe